Welcome everybody to Lights on Data Show, live on occasion here at the wonderful IBM event that I'm really looking forward to seeing some of the upcoming sessions. I have the immense pleasure to interview Fabian Serato, who is the Senior Vice President of Model, Data and AI Risk at Scotiabank. Thank you for the invitation. Happy to be here to share my thoughts about AI in the industry. Well, it's, it's my pleasure as well, and uh, again, my, my honor to have this interview with you. Now, I do want to find out a little bit about your role, because you know when I first read it, I couldn't see any other role that's similar within the industry, but the more and more I thought about it, I thought, yes, more organizations need to have a dedicated role focused on all these three things. So can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, as you say, I'm responsible for models, data, and AI in risk management. So my role is basically responsible for all the models, credit, IFRS 9, capital models. Uh, but one input of the models is data. So mm -hmm. I need to ensure that the data that fill the models has the level of accuracy that we need for our models. And now with AI, I am responsible for designing the policies and principles for using AI in the organization in a responsible way. Well, and how would Scotiabank ensure that it's trusted and ethical AI practices are really included within its operations? Uh, this is really important for us, uh, and we had implemented uh, several controls across the organization. The first one is that we had a specific uh, ethics tool uh, to evaluate all the ethics consideration for all the use cases of generated AI and AI in the organization. Also, we had a specific policies of how we can use AI across the organization, what are the principles in terms of, of the accuracy, bias, mm. uh, and just to ensure that we have clarity about this. But I think the most important one is awareness and education. We would like to promote innovation in the organization, but also we are teaching to our people that you need to balance innovation, what are the possible risks that we have when we're using AI. Right. And I think at the bottom of it all, you need to have that, that strategy in place um, and, and vision, of course, it needs to be well solidified. Can you tell us a little bit about Scotiabank uh, vision and strategy on, on AI? Yeah, I, I think, you know, AI is evolving so fast. You know, during the last year, I cannot count how many new regulations uh, we have in terms of the use of, of AI. But I think that we had a principle is that we are doing pilots and we are learning. And we call this a concept of champion challenger, where we start basically to test in a small scale, and we compare with the traditional methodology. And where we have seen the results, basically we deploy. Other important consideration is that we are a global operation. So we have now new regulation in the US, in Canada, in Brazil, and Mexico. So we're ensuring that our policies of using of AI are considering all those components, and it's flexible and not so rigid. Mm -hmm. Because with this evolving, you need to ensure that you can pivot in the right direction. And, and I think that critical for us is that a lot of collaboration across the organization, that all the use cases have visibility from all the different stakeholders, so that we can have a holistic view of what we're implementing. Well, thank you so much. And you know, a lot of organizations are really jumping on the bandwagon of Gen AI, and it's not as easy as it sounds if you want to do it properly. So what would you say that companies can learn from Scotiabank's implementation on Gen AI? And, you know, what worked? What are some of those challenges that maybe others need to watch out for? I think it's, it's really important to have a, a governance, you mm -hmm. know, because with the boon of AI, you know, with ChatGPT, and we had many, many other tools. I think it's really important that you understand what is the governance at the guard race for using AI. Other important topic is you want to accelerate the use cases just to ensure that you don't want to start to do it all by yourself. You right. know? I think, for example, we are partnership with IBM in developing our model governance tool that is not covering only AI, also traditional models. So in this case, you can promote innovation, but with the right controls and using it in a responsible way. Thank you so much, uh, Fabian, for putting the lights on how to do this properly and how Scotiabank has been doing this. So really appreciate it. Oh, thank you for the invitation. Likewise.